This is a live DVD that no PC user should be without. You should have a copy of this in your toolbox. Of course, I'm speaking about Nopix. And this live DVD has every tool you can think of for repairing your system and has a plethora of software. We're looking at version 7.4 today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. Uh, before I get started on this, I'll share with you some scenarios where uh, Nopix really saved my tail on a few occasions. There was one time, and this was before I even started using Linux as my main operating system, I somehow messed up my master boot record in Windows. And following a tutorial that I was able to find online, I was able to use a Nopix Live Disk to help me to restore my master boot records so that I could get back into Windows without having to reboot. There was also an occasion about two years ago where I had uh, a lady uh, who had a hard drive crash and she couldn't afford to replace it, but she still wanted to continue using her computer. So basically what I did was I set up her computer with a live DVD of Nopix and then she took a flash drive to store all of her personal data on and if I'm not mistaken I think that's how she's still using that computer today she's she's actually just using a live system uh, using the Nopix live system and then any data she wants to save she's just saving to a flash drive this is very advantageous because she'll never have to worry about viruses or anything but the downside is you know she really can't customize any of the applications to her preferences because she doesn't have a hard drive to store those preferences on and Nopix really doesn't have a persistent and that sort of thing okay and as we uh, look at the desktop here let's go ahead and uh, you're gonna see that there is a quick launch to your file manager here and then an option where you can uh, install this image to a USB drive and that's probably uh, the most efficient way to run this rather than running it on a DVD as most of you know running a uh, operating system from a flash drive is very advantageous okay and this is using the LXDE environment on this and uh, let's see if we've got Compiz enabled by default it doesn't look like it is the last time I looked at Compiz it was enabled by default but uh, I'm not seeing that here that's no biggie though it is using uh, the latest version of Compiz with this though I didn't enable it we're actually looking at this in live mode Okay, there are a ton of accessories that this comes loaded with. And one of the key things behind Nopix, this is a live disk you want to burn a DVD and hand to your friends who don't use Linux at all, just to give them a taste of all the good things that uh, the software that's available out there. And I mean, there is uh, software out the wazoo in this, just in the accessories alone. And I mean, there's just, there's no way I could even go into any detail on all of these but there are a ton of applications that will, uh, you know, that you can try out. Uh, plenty of educational tools are included with this as well. So, uh, you know, K-Algebra, pretty cool. And it's got a smattering of different applications. You know, some of these are for, uh, you know, GTK applications, and a lot of these are cute applications for KDE. And there's a little bit of something for everybody in here. So if you want to, you know, try out a new piece of software without installing it on your system, pop this into a virtual machine and uh, play with the softwares in here. And you can have a look at them before you even install them lots of games are loaded in here I mean you got the mother load in here and so uh, you could j just this alone uh, could be a lot of fun for the kids you know you got tons of games uh, in here that they could play uh, a plethora of graphics tools with the inclusion of a office suite is included in here uh, internet tools a, a bunch of browsers IRC clients you got Firefox you got chromium I mean, it's all in here. Uh, Nopix has some tools in here as well. Uh, in the office, I mentioned you get the LibreOffice suite, but then there's a bunch of other little applications thrown in here as well. So, you know, you can try these out and see if this is something you would use on your own Linux box, for instance. A bunch of programming tools are thrown in here. Sound and video utilities. Uh, 
Amarok for managing your music collections. You've got Audacity for editing audio. My favorite video editor, Katie and Live, is thrown in here. But if you want something a little bit simpler, Kino is thrown in. And a bunch of other uh, little things that are in here. Rose Gardens even uh, included in here. Uh, for those of you who like uh, editing notation and, uh, you know, working with MIDI, that's included with that. Lots of great stuff here. A bunch of system tools to help you get the most out of the system. Even some universal access tools are included with this. And Wine is thrown in as well for attempting to get Windows programs and stuff like that installed. Now, basically, though, Nopix, for the most part, really isn't a, you know, distribution that you would install on your system. It is meant to be run as a live disk, but it does have Wine included in here. The only thing is, you know, if you do install Wine and do get an application running uh, in the system like this, just keep in mind that if you shut the system down, it isn't going to remember any of this stuff unless you uh, have a, a persistent set up. Okay, and then of course there are uh, some additional tools here uh, under preferences where you can uh, set up, uh, you know, set up your preferences and that sort of thing. And for me, like for instance, before I even fired this up, and this was in live mode, and I'm running this in VMware. You know, I just ran the monitor settings tool. It detected that I had uh, my own native screen resolution and let me set it up right out of the box. No issues whatsoever. So this is really great because it does have software, I mean, hardware detection in here. It'll detect what kind of hardware you have on your system and set it all up for you. So this is great for those of you who want to, you know, if you have a computer, you want to, um, you know, and you want to be able to try out Linux. Uh, as I indicated, there was a, a lady I set up with Nopix on a on a DVD, and she actually runs a computer that doesn't have a hard drive with it, which is pretty amazing. And I think she's still even using the uh, computer that way, and she just never shuts it off. She always leaves it on, and uh, that sort of thing, which is pretty cool. So uh, all in all, I, I I always liked what Nopix brings to the table. I mean, they have they have a great software selection so that you know, you can try out different applications, and if you find something that might suit your needs, you know, you jot all that stuff down a list so that you can search your package managers and stuff and uh, find them. And uh, basically, this is just using the lightweight LXDE desktop. It's very easy to configure. You know, you can right-click, go to your panel settings, and you can, you know, change its appearance and that sort of thing. You know, uh, if you want to change your desktop preferences, that's all in here as well. You can change it. But for the, for the most part, most of you are probably just going to use this just to have a copy of it in your toolbox. I mean, I always keep a copy of Nopix lying around as well because of all the tools that this has available. So you you have, you know, you have a, a partition manager with this, and you have a bunch of other uh, different tools that are included so that will help you uh, repair your system. And then there are a bunch of other, uh, a bunch of uh, other applications uh, thrown into the mix as well. So, I mean, you've got the mother load in here. I mean, it is a large download at uh, just over four gigs, but I mean, you're getting your download times worth. It will fill up a recordable DVD, but every application under the sun is loaded into this. And I highly recommend all of you who have a computer, and it doesn't matter what operating system you run, whether you're running Windows or you're running Linux, you should keep a copy of this in your toolbox. Well, that's all I have on this. Uh, as a reminder, please consider supporting show hosts who bring you content you enjoy the most by disabling your ad blocker or shouting some coins. Peace out! Mm -hmm.